All right, everybody. So, um, Dragon Ball Dima episode three, um, was actually really, really funny. Um, so basically, guys, what happened is this episode is focused solely on Goryo, Supreme Kai, and Goku traveling to the uh, third level of the Demon Realm, which is where um. Gorio was asked by, by, by his gang to, uh, to, uh, take Goku to, to, to possibly see about defeating King Goma. And guys, this episode was very, very funny because, um, um, G Goku in this episode has to be basically, um, babysat, just like, um, Bulma, Krillin, and Yamcha are all, all used to have to because um, Goku says, Boy, the, this plane actually moved re re really slowly, even though that we were going fast before. And then uh, Goyo's like, um, This plane um, operates, on, operates on magic. So, 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 so it can go fast or slow, depending on the atmosphere. And then, um, when, um, and then, um, when, uh, G Goku, Gorio, and the uh, Supreme Guy, I do, um, get back to the, uh, Gatekeeper, which is revealed in the episode that his name is Warp. Think of Warp Tunnel Guys, or basically just, uh, the warp tour, um, warp, who basically doesn't like to be called a goldfish because that's not what he is. Um, but so, um, um, Gloria basically tells Goku and the Brink guy that A, it, um, but the reason we, we have to use warp is because, um, Obviously, as we know, the demon world is separated into three levels, and we and and we need to access the third hatch. So the only way to get there is by warp. And then um um Go Goku went again demonstrate um for us on once more just truly how how naive. He, Truly used to be what growing up and how he still basically is even when 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 he returns to an adult because he basically calls warp a uh, a fat version of a goldfish and then uh Supreme guy's like hey goku it if if you upset 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 warp warp he he might not let you through because this gatekeeper is very sensitive. And then, and then he's like, and then he's like to Corio, hey, you pass, you just used me very, very recently, have you, haven't you? And then Corio's like, yeah, um, you got pointy ears, you're fine. And so the Supreme Guy, so they're both from here. But what about your annoying little friend over there? So, um, Supreme Guy casts a quick spell of his own to make Goku's ears pointy, um, so that Warp will basically say that, uh, all right, you guys can go. Just get Mr. Big Mouth away from me. And by the way, what's your pin number? And then Gorio says, 88. 21, which, um, um, but, but, before they get to war, but, Gloria finds the, the closest, um, access point to him, and then, uh, Supreme Kai asked, asked if they could take a quick break so he could, uh, telepathically send their location to Capito, but when, uh, Gorio says to Warp, um, their pin number, 
which is again 8821. Um, Supreme Guy forgets to uh, telepathically send their pin number to uh, Kabito and uh, and Warp will only let um, members from from the from the first level of Demon World and to let members of the second use him and, and to even use him obviously of course you have to have that pin number and so uh uh go the, the plane passes through and then uh Goku says boy it really stinks around here I could have farted and you guys would have never noticed and then that's because Goyle explains that, that because of the amount of volcanoes around the uh, third level of Demon World, um, that they, they contain a really nasty gas that pretty much smells like shit and makes it very difficult for um, um, Goyle's plane to fly. But the gas is harmless. And so uh, Goku spends a lot of time uh, just basically annoying everybody and, and and not sticking close to the gang and um, going after this uh, kind of cat bunny looking creature and then Goryeo has to save Goku's ass again and say hey if, if you fall into that um, sea of darkness you'll die immediately you idiot um, and then um, Go Goku's like hey the the air is heavy, and then uh, Goyle's like again. It's be it's because of the volcano um, and the gas that it gives off. And then um and and then uh but but, but before they even get back to the uh, third level of Demon World, guys, um, it is made very clear that uh, Goyle's position um in in terms of who he's actually aligned with in Demon World on all three levels appears to be mixed because when Supreme Kai asked him, hey, wh what do you do as a job um, for your king in, in your level of Demon World? And then Goyle's like, listen to that. But guys, Goyle demonstrates throughout the rest of the episode that once they are safe on his level of demon world that 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 Goyle may not be um strong strong like Goku or Vegeta but he but but he can definitely be a badass and hold his own because um that 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 there are these uh, troll like looking things that that start attacking Goku um, right after he, he asked um, Goryeo and Supreme Guy, "Hey, can we get out of here? I want to actually breathe some air and and finally get out of this plane and maybe adjust my balance and direction some more." And then uh, Goku's like, "Hey, even the um, air." Arrows that the uh, monster trolls are using are affected by the by the volcano's gas, and then a uh, Goryeo takes out his a uh, um, phaser. I don't necessarily want to call it a gun, but that's pretty much what it is, and is able to make quick work of them. And then Goryeo's like, "Come on, you guys." Um, we we have to stay in a local town tonight. Um, and and then I'll take you to see my king in the morning. And then very quickly, um, that they fly past this a uh, very um old statue of Devora. That Goku says, "Hey, Devora's statue looks like it's in pretty rough shape." And uh. Just as a little Easter egg, guys. Deborah in this statue, 
he looks as evil and as bad as he, he did it in the Majin Buu saga, but he's kind of holding up the peace sign, just like Hercule did. And then um, the episode end where the Goku, Goryeo, and Supreme Kai basically um, ch checking into this hotel, and then the uh, and then Goryeo asking Supreme Kai and Goku, "Hey, are you guys all right with sharing a room?" And then Supreme Kai's like, "That's fine." And then Goku's like, "I'm uh, hungry. I I know I know." I know it. I know it was already nighttime on Earth, but who knows how long we've been gone, and I'm still hungry. So, uh, Goryeo tells the um, owner of the hotel, "Hey, do you have two rooms?" Um, the owner says, "Sure, but but it's expensive." Uh, Go the owner tells uh, Goryeo the price, which, which I'm not gonna say until I. Um, which I'm not gonna say because <laughs> I I can't pro I can't pronounce num numbers. I don't want Japanese guys, even even though it was calculated out in front of me. But then the uh, Oreo basically threatened to like almost kill the guy, and then the guys like, okay, I'll drop it. I'll drop it down to them, and then uh, Goryeo's like, I I thought that's what you would say, and I would want you to have that next time. And then he says, Hey, if you guys want the food, that the, there there's probably the only bar across the street in this region. Um, where, where you guys should be able to get some food, and then, um, and then inside the bar, guys, it's this very, like, kind of, like, um, old school, like, Ma Man Mandalorian kind of set up slash, like, uh, like, like, kind of a bar that you would see, a uh, Tagoro or Spike kind of go into, and then, um, uh, they they tell the bartender uh, basically what they want, which uh, Goku ends up saying five hamburgers and Supreme Kai and Goryeo just get drinks, and then um very quickly um all the other patrons of the bars notice very quickly that since uh, Supreme Kai's spell on Goku to make his ears pointy was only so that they could get past warp. Everybody's instantly able to notice, hey, you're not from around here, are you, kid? Hey, guys, let's have some fun. And then that's when uh, Goku is able to um, fully get used to his small body again, guys. And uh, he basically treats the um, everybody else in the bar as well as Goryeo does, after Goryeo says, Hey, I already told you guys twice to get lost and leave us alone. And so after Goryeo um, beat, beats them up with his bare hands and his gun, um, Goku basically stretches out exactly like he did in when, when he and Krillin went to the martial arts tournament for the first time, and basically kicks everybody's ass and treats it like a game of playtime. And then the episode ends, guys, with a Goryeo waking Supreme Kai and Goku up very early in the morning and saying, let's go. And that, But then, kind of as revenge for what happened at the bar, um, Goryeo's plane is stolen, and that's how the episode ends. Um, also, guys, there will not be any videos um, tomorrow or until Friday of next week, and that's because I'll be on vacation in Florida. So, see you guys next week, and, uh, have a good one.